We will now do our next poem. Poem number 4, Strawberries. Are you on page number 7? Everyone? Strawberries. Strawberries that are in the garden grow are plump and juicy fine. But sweeter far as wise men know spring from the woodland wine. Let us see line by line first. Strawberries that in gardens grow. Where do the strawberries grow? They grow in the gardens. Garden mein wo ugte hain. Now be careful. If you are writing one strawberry, the spelling is It ends with Y. But here we are talking about many strawberries. So it becomes I E S. Okay, so where do these strawberries grow? They grow in the garden. A plump and juicy fine. Now three adjectives have been used to describe the strawberries. How are they? Plump. Plump means nice and fat. Juicy. That means when you bite into it, a lot of juice comes out. And fine. They are really nice and fine. But sweeter far, as wise men know, spring from the woodland wine. Wise persons are those who have lot of experience, who know about things. So they will tell you no. These garden strawberries are not so sweet. The sweeter ones, the really nice ones are the ones which grow on the vines. Now see the word wine. V I N E is a creeper. Have you seen a creeper? How it goes climbing up? In Hindi they call it Lata or Bela. Okay? So sometimes you will find that there is one tree and around it this way the creeper grows around it. Okay? So that is known as a vine. So spring Spring here does not mean the season of spring, not Vasant Rutu. Here we are talking about spring. That means they originate. Originate means come from. From where do the really sweet strawberries come? They come from the woodland wine. That means which are not grown in the garden, which you get outside. So what is the poet saying? He is saying that the strawberries in the garden are sweet. That means they are plump, they are juicy, they are nice. But which are the sweeter ones? The ones which grow in the woodland wine. Second stanza. No need for bowl or silver spoon. Normally you put strawberries in a bowl and you eat it with a silver spoon. Sugar or spice or cream. Some people put sprinkled sugar, powdered sugar or they put fresh cream on top to make it nice and tasty or spice. Now spice we call it masale. Who puts masala? Nobody puts masala. But here they want to show that spice that means to flavor. used to flavor. Flavor means to make it very tasty. So if you put little sugar and little cream, it will become nice and tasty. Has the wild berry plucked in June beside the trickling stream? So when you take these wild berries, not the ones which are grown in the garden, the ones which you will find on these vines in the woodland, so those wild berries when you pluck it in June because June is the perfect time for it when it is nice and ripe. Beside the trickling stream, beside that means next to. Stream is a rivulet. Rivulet means a small part of the river which flows, jharna, and which grows beside the stream, which is trickling. Trickling means with less flow 
of water. Very little water is flowing there. So, where can you find the really nice tasty strawberries? You can find it in the woodland on growing on the vine and there is no need for putting anything to get, make it more flavorsome. Beside the stream which is trickling, you will find it in the woodland. Woodland or you can write forest also if you want. Okay, so it is just growing wild as compared to the garden variety which we grow. Which one is sweeter? The one which just grows wild. Now, first they have said learn and recite the poem. Now, you recite it for yourself a lot of times, recite it loudly. I am reading the poem. So, listen to the pronunciation properly. You must pronounce your words. Aapke uchar ekdam spasht hone chahiye. It should be very, very clear and go little slowly. Don't do rush, rush, ghai, ghai and then you will make mistakes. So, doesn't matter if you say it nice and slowly, but you say it a lot of times. So, for again for your orals, you will be prepared. Let us read it once again. Strawberries that in gardens grow are plump and juicy fine, but sweeter far as wise men know spring from the woodland wine. No need for bowl or silver spoon, sugar or spice or cream. Has the wild berry plucked in June beside the trickling stream. Have you got that? Any other difficult word that you find? Cream you already know. Now cream you get two types. One you get on top of the milk that is malai. Some children don't like it. They say it comes on their tongue. Otherwise, you can get nice whipped cream, which they use to put on top of desserts. But here they are saying that the strawberries are sweet, so you don't need to put anything. Now, let look at the question answers. Which are the two different places where strawberries grow? Now, there are two places where they have mentioned. One is in the garden and the second, the woodlands near the stream. Second question, what are the two different ways of eating strawberries? One, you can directly pluck the strawberry and eat it. That is when in June, when it's perfectly ripe. Second method, you can take a bowl, you can have a silver spoon, you can put sugar and spice and you can put cream on top. But which one tastes nicer? The one which is natural, which you have just plucked, fresh you have plucked and you eat. Third question, which strawberries are plump and juicy? So, the strawberries which grow in the garden are plump and juicy. But which strawberries are sweeter? The strawberries which are in the woods on the vines. How would you like to eat your strawberry? Now, this is a personal response question or what they call open-ended question. Now understand what is the difference, okay? Let us see closed ended question and open ended question. In a closed ended question, you get a fixed answer, okay? Here you have a fixed answer. If I say, who is known as the father of our nation? Everyone knows Gandhiji. So, can there be a different answer? No. When is our independence day? 15th August. So, there everyone's answer has to be fixed. But if I ask you open-ended question, what is your favorite color? All you students will give me different answers. Each girl will say something else. Now, if I ask you here, how would you like to eat your strawberries? There are different answers. Some people might write over here for this open-ended question. They like to eat it plain. Just pluck it fresh and eat it. Some might say they like to put sugar and cream and eat. Some might say, like me, I like to eat strawberries with vanilla ice cream on top. 
some might want to eat their strawberries in a milkshake, strawberry milkshake. So how you like to eat your strawberries depends on you. In an open-ended question, you can answer any way that you like. How do you like? You know it best. Now look at the activities. Find out when and where we get strawberries in Maharashtra. Now in Maharashtra, we get strawberries in Mahableshwar. Mahableshwar is a hill station where you get very nice fresh strawberries. You have lots of strawberry fields over there where they grow all over. They even allow you to go into those gardens and pluck them fresh. Try one day to have it fresh off the plant because that time it's the best. Now here they have given, given in June but even in the month of May when you have your summer holidays you can go to Mahableshwar. It is not very far away from Mumbai but if you live in any other city you can specially make a trip to Mahableshwar. In Mahableshwar you will find the strawberries are growing there but quite close by you will find the Mapro factory where you can buy strawberry crush, strawberry jam and everything made out of strawberry. Next, second one, make a list of your favorite fruits. Now this is also open-ended. Each student will have a different answer. One might say mango, one might say custard apple. Custard apple means what you call sita fal. Some might say mud apple, mud apple what we call chikku or you might like papaya, apple, banana, pineapple. There are so many different fruits. In India, we have lots and lots of fruits and vegetables. You must eat all vegetables, but which is your favorite so that you can write. Do you like lady's finger like bhindi or you like potato that is alu or do you like simla mirch that is capsicum. So whichever you like, you can write whether it's cauliflower, whether it is onion, tomato, whatever you want. Now, what time of the year are they available in plenty? You will find that in winter, we get very nice fresh vegetables. But for fruits, there are different seasons for different fruits. When do we get mangoes? We get mangoes in the summer season. Alfonso mango, which is grown in Ratnagiri. A very nice variety is also found in Balsad that is in Gujarat. But these mangoes are available in the month of May. During the rainy season, there are different varieties of mangoes which are available. From the northern regions, we have different varieties which come in here like you have the sherry or you have neelam or you have langda. These are all different varieties of mangoes which come during the rainy season. Or you have raja puri, you have tota puri, so these are also worth trying. They have a different flavor. During the rainy season, you'll find lots of lychees, which have come from the north again, lots of plums, cherries and custard apple. Then in winter, again, you'll have different varieties which come. That time you have more of vegetables like you have tomatoes, green peas and the vegetables are very fresh during the winter. So you can go to the market with your mother and you can see in which season what can be seen in plenty. Next, third question. Have you ever eaten any fruit or vegetable picking it straight from the field? Yes, I have. When we went to Dahanu, Dahanu is known for chikku farms. We could take it directly from the tree. Of course, you must wash it and eat it and not eat it directly. You pluck it fresh, but definitely wash it. Mangoes. We went to Ratnagiri to a place called Pavas. And there was another called Palshit. And both the places we enjoyed mangoes. The mangoes were so plentiful that they were directly from the tree. They were, some of them were falling down and we were gathering them. Nobody to stop us from eating lots and lots of mangoes. So go to an orchard. Now, have you heard the word orchard? An orchard is a place where they grow fruits. A fruit garden is called an orchard. Have you got that word? It's a new word for you. Now, write about that experience 
So for that you'll have to tell your parents, please take us to Mahableshwar or please take us to Dhanu or wherever so that you can eat fresh fruits. Each area, if you go to Himachal, if you go to Kashmir, then you are more likely to find peaches, pears or you'll find apples, cherries. So in the northern region, you'll find different types of fruit and in the southern part where it is warm, you'll find different types of fruits. Let us look at some more questions. If we can get over here now, they want rhyming words. Did we find out the rhyming words? Not yet. So let us write them down on the board. Look at your poem, grow and know. Okay, so rhyming words. Even if they don't ask you in the question in your textbook, you must always know the rhyming words. Okay, so the first set is grow and know. Next one is fine and wine. Now be careful. This wine is V-I-N-E, not W-I-N-E. W-I-N-E is to be drunk and this V-I-N-E is the creeper that we saw which grows upwards, that is the wine. Next one, we have spoon and june. And the last one, we have cream and stream. Have you got your rhyming words here? Okay, so these are all your rhyming words. Grow no, fine wine, spoon june and cream stream. Sometimes the children might think but the spelling is different. You can see here in spoon and june. Don't look at the spelling. How does it sound? Now in Marathi they call this yamak zurva. Zurva means make two jodi. That means a set of two words which sound the same at the end. The ending sounds the same. So again you can recite the poem, learn your poem. It's not very big. Only two stanzas of four lines each. Only eight line poem. So you can easily learn this poem. 